Five years ago, Ruth and I celebrated our first Valentine's Day together in an oasis that I set up in the creepy basement of his college guy's house. Well, fortunately, we have our own creepy basement. So we're going to attempt to recreate that date tonight. Let's, Let's get, get to, to it. it. Whoa, that's a longer oh fall than I thought. <laughs> Woo! Five years ago, Ruth and I were in college, so we couldn't really afford to go out on the town and have a fancy Valentine's date. But I figured we could still have that experience just in my basement. He got super creative. Somehow he lugged an entire couch to the basement. He hung up curtains all around, set up some candles, and got all of my favorite snacks, and it was really memorable. And this was one of our favorite dates because Though we didn't have much, we were still able to have a lot of fun. So we just wanted to show you guys that no matter how much money you have or what kind of <laughs> environment you have, you can create a date that you'll never forget. You got your muscles ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. <laughs> Soaking in the sights and sounds of our hot water heater. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, while Thomas finishes the setup, I'm gonna go prepare the food and make myself pretty. When we first started dating, I made Ruth this wine bottle candle thing. I was watching Lady and the Tramp with some roommates and got the great idea of making my own little wine bottle candle. So I took a bunch of twine, wrapped it around, glued it, and then spray painted the bottle. We've used this candle for many a date ever since. I just wanted to tell you guys that when we say that Thomas's college basement was creepy and gross, that's not an exaggeration at all. One time we found a dead bird inside an old wood burning fireplace that was down there. Thomas found a live bird down there one time that was just sort of like swaying back and forth and did either looked possessed or like it was about to die. speak I believe we are at 995 subscribers we are five away from monetizing and I'm pretty stoked it's really hard to believe that we have almost a thousand people that like our content enough to subscribe that means a lot so thank you guys so much I kind of feel like for Valentine's you should have some red or some pink or black or white so this is the dress I'm gonna wear tonight that I just got from Stitch Fix recently. I haven't worn it yet. This is the perfect time to try it out. Hey, you did it. 
We did it. We did it. Good job, babe. I won't look at your thing. I'll come back. not have to cost a lot of money to make something really special. What Thomas did for me was get me all my favorite snacks, which meant a lot because I love snacks, but also it showed that he was listening and that he really knew who I was. Doing small personalized things can actually mean a lot more than buying a fancy meal or a really expensive present. So what are my favorite snacks? Cheesecake, jalapeno poppers, jalapeno potato chips, mushrooms of any kind, a good sweet wine, and cheese curds? I think this one was more for Thomas. like to embark on a Valentine's dinner? I would like to. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, let me get the door for you. It's already open. Yeah, I got the door for you. <laughs> and... Ooh. It looks so good. I think you've outdone yourself since 2016. You think so? Yeah. Oh, it even smells good. So, you've got your little lanterns here for your walk-up. What's that sound? And then... Welcome to oh Paradise. My Are you? <laughs> 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 Where am I? <laughs> this is not our basement. Babe, this is absolutely incredible. Do you like it? This, even on the ceiling, <laughs> all the lights. It's our little, our little slice of resort. <laughs> this is seriously insane. Like, I know we were telling people in the video, like, oh, you can do anything with ugly spaces. <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> You have done such a good job. I'm very impressed. Are you impressed? Oh, so cool. Wow, babe. It's like it really gives the vibe of what you did for me in 2015, <laughs> but like with yeah. an adult take, you know? Like mm. One step up. All right. Do you want your Valentine's card? Oh, sure. When we were last in a fort in a creepy basement, we talked about goals and plans for the future. We both wanted to live in a tree house. Aww. Travel the world, share the glorious news of Jesus, and live unconventionally. Here's to our future and our extraordinary, ordinary life together. Ms. Ruth Afia Finney, will you be my Valentine? Aww, of course. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, babe. That's so sweet. All right, we're gonna finally get a taste of our snackies. I'm starting with a jalapeno popper. Or are we gonna like a- uh... Cheers. Oh, I was gonna say- Oh, Lady and the Tramp? <laughs> lady and the Oh, tramp. gross. Let's try it. Should we? Is that a bad idea? It's a very bad idea. All right, we'll hold the platter underneath. Okay. Hey? Hey? Who? Why are we trying down? Now for the best part of the night.
tonight, which is having cheesecake, which has always been my favorite cake. Even as a kid for my birthday, I didn't want a birthday cake. I wanted cheesecake. So I'm pretty excited about this and I'm going to give it a taste. What's the verdict? I mean, you can't go wrong with cream <laughs> cheese in a cake. Mm -hmm. It's really good. We're just going to enjoy the rest of our night eating our snacks, <laughs> watching the fire burn down. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us again on this date, and we'll see you guys next week. And rolling. First Valentine's Day in Dang an it. oasis. Dang it. Sorry. You goober. So let's, let's get, get at it. it. By setting up in the... <laughs> let's, let's get, get to, to it. it. <laughs> Did you get out of frame? I got out of frame. Yeah, first Valentine's Day together in... I just realized that you're wearing your winter coat. Why are you wearing your winter coat? Oh, I don't know. If you want to get like a real actual fireside vibe, <laughs> place a space heater right next to your TV. <laughs> You can definitely hear Thomas singing Firework by Katy Perry downstairs. That's my husband.